our culture and civilization have gone wrong we came from jungle in the hope of doing better in our villages and cities but our villages and cities have failed we still find in many ways the jungle to be better than our villages and cities there is nobody who is not sometimes seized by a strong desire to return to the jungle does that not happen it is because that which we call as our education our society our systems our thought our philosophy our civilization all are based on very material grounds there is no spiritual basis to them so they have failed to take us to a level of consciousness higher than that of jungle i have often said that animals are in many ways better than human beings man had the potential to either rise above the animal or fall way below it man has continuously been making the wrong choice if you cannot build your cities and your social systems on spiritual foundations then it is better to stay in the jungle if your family your workplace your institutions do not r- run on spiritual grounds then they better not run at all when did we go wrong the day when somebody decided that spiritual education needs to have only a marginal presence in the education system of the society that's when we went wrong hmm? we have been continuously deciding that way look at how your kids are being educated today as well purely on material grounds our cities our culture they exist to give us what we want they do not exist to give us liberation appreciate the difference all our development is intended in the direction of giving us more and more of what we want right what we want it is not intended in the direction of liberation and who are we gorillas so the entire thrust is on giving the gorilla what the gorilla himself wants so what will the gorilla want for himself more food more pleasure more sex a lengthy life more amenities and that's what we have done in the name of development that's what the human progress story has been about that's what entire cult of liberalism is about they say respect the individual's choice and who is the individual a gorilla what do you mean by respecting his choice first of all educate him what you are saying no 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 individual choice the individual ego is supreme it has to be respected before you say i want don't you need to be educated in who this i is but the emphasis is always on the want and never on the i this entire culture the entire industry the whole expanse of human activity and thought is on i want i want what is it that you want i want without paying any attention to who is the one who wants who the thinker is that we are not considering at all